What's up mga ka-watchers? This is your Sir Nikolai. And instead of giving you a lecture on literary criticism, I will review a PlayStation game today and the title is The Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is a role-playing game published by Sucker Punch for the PlayStation 4 and recently announced that it would be released for the PlayStation 5. So after playing it for almost 400 hours, I would like to share my critique of the game and the reason why I think that this is a masterpiece. So let's start with the presentation. The one thing is for sure in this game, it is not just about realism or how realistic the water looks like, but it is about the interplay of different colors of the island. The scenery is majestic and emphasizes the natural diversity of the island through its use of specific color template. Each region has its own distinct dominant color in which it allows you to experience the four seasons from summer, fall, winter, and spring. Generally speaking, the more you go north, the more it becomes pale, and the more you go south, the more it looks green and brown. One more good thing about this is that the developers add a photo mode for you to capture these scenes. In fact, after playing for several hours, I found myself just staring at the beauty of the game for its rich, vibrant landscape and it slowed down my gameplay. So the next one is combat. So the game is not a button masher game. Random mashing of buttons will not let you defeat the enemy. The AI is intelligent even in easy mode. So you need more practice and the more you practice, the more you improve your skill till it becomes your second nature. And through practice, you'll be able to dodge, block, and parry all incoming attacks and let you experience the slicing capacity of the katana and instill fear to your enemies as the ghost. The last one is narrative. So drawing its inspiration from the traditional hero narrative with a twist, Ghost of Tsushima lets you experience the myths and histories of the people of the island of Tsushima through the eyes of Jin Sakai a noble samurai turned ninja who led the defense of the island against the Mongol invaders led by Cotton Khan. The main narrative leads you to a dilemma, uphold tradition and become the best samurai that you can be or repose tradition and adapt the way of the ghost. Though it gives you two different styles in approaching the game, however, it is still linear. The ending would always be the same. You always end up in the shadows. This is the only loophole that I can see and could have been the best game of all time if only the developers allowed us to choose the ending. Still, I highly recommend Ghost of Tsushima and give this game 9 out of 10.